In this video, we're going to talk about a couple of special configurations of two port um, networks, um, simply because these two configurations uh, simplify our work of writing the parameters and using the parameters. And then uh, and later in the video, we're also going to talk about how potentially can diff uh, these uh, two port um, networks be connected to each other. So let's go ahead and start with the special configuration. Let's start with the reciprocal two-port network. The, the, uh, this definition for a reciprocal two-port network simply is that if I were to put, if we were to put a the voltmeter on port A, port one. Let's say this is port one, and then uh, uh, put the uh, ammeter on port 2 and therefore we will be basically what we have here this is V1 if you want to think about it this this is I'm sorry this is I2 the, that those numbers would be exactly the same if we came to port 2 and we put a V2 in here and uh, were to get I1 here so what it basically it's saying is that uh, when you have the ratio of V1 over I2 would be exactly the same as the ratio of V2 over I1. So what does that mean in terms of our uh, parameters that we've talked about? That basically means in the Z parameter, that basically means that Z12 is equal to Z21. And then if that is true, then the inverse of that is true, which means for Y, this is true. And if you, as you go, as you carry, oops, as you carry this further, you will see that um, um, oops, I keep drawing. Um, um, as as you as you keep um, working on this one, you will find for h one in the h parameter, this relationship of h one equal to minus h two one is true, and in the case of g g one two equal to minus g one two is true. So reciprocal simply says. You know, if I have a voltage source and a current source and I flip their location, we still got to get the same numbers, uh, which translates to us having uh, the following uh, handful of relationship for the parameters. There is even a more um, um, symmetric, as it's called a symmetric two-port network, which basically um, what, what, the, what the definition is, is that if I had a two-port if I have a two port uh, network and let's say this is port one minus V1 and this is port two, then I can literally interchange the ports and I'll get the same exact result. So I, let's say I have a voltage and a current on V1, so I'm gonna get something on I, I2 and V2 and if I were to put that same voltage across the V2 and I2, I would get the same I1 and V1 uh, that I was getting before. So, so what basically it's saying, in this case is even more powerful, which basically is saying that V1 over I1 is equal to V2 over I2. So let's, uh, if, <clears throat> if I could run down, I can show that this basically means that <clears throat> Um, not only, so a symmetric network is also a reciprocal network. So you get all the uh, previous uh, relationship that exists as Z12 is equal to Z21, Y12 equal to Y21, etc., etc. In addition to that, in a symmetric network, you also get the following uh, relationship. So for example, in the case, this, if you look at this thing, in the case of a Z, network what's going to happen is that the z11 and z22 are the same so diagonals are the same and then uh, also z12 and z21 are the same now what kind of network gives you that that kind of uh, oops what kind of network gives you that kind of flexibility or that kind of a result and these are some typical a symmetrical network configuration. One would be if this resistor and this, res uh, this impedance and this impedance are the same, 
and you got one branch another configuration is the one right right here um, another potential configuration would be the one shown here and another potential configuration is showing there so so there's there's there is few few different ones that we could potentially look at there and as we said before a symmetric network uh, is is already reciprocal so it's going to get all the um, relationship that exists for reciprocal in addition it will get uh, the relation it is new additional relationships as well now if one of the things we do and one of the reasons we do to port network is we would like to treat this as a module so it's very calm it could be common or in your world if you work in the network and building systems that you get a two port on a, a circuit and you really don't want to or don't need to know what's inside but you combine it with other things to build a more complex device so here are some handful of ways that um, uh, circuits could be connected these these two port circuit can be connected to each other this is called the cascading cascading um, one where one is attached to the other so the output of this will become the uh, input of the next stage and then this is a series uh, version where um, you literally are in series uh, the outputs are connected to each other and the inputs of uh, port ones and port twos are connected one side are connected to each other then parallel would be as the name implies that um, each each port each input ports are connected to each other and the output ports are connected to each other and then we have some various combination which is partly series serial and partly parallel okay so that's pretty much it so we in a couple of um, worthy things is to remember that some uh, some networks are reciprocal some networks are symmetric and as if you identify either one of those you get a lot of benefit because once you find one parameter you found multiple parameters and then and then kind of consider how these um, networks may be connected to each other and here are four different ways they could be connected to each other cascading series and parallel and some combination of series parallel parallel series okay um, that just bring us and this this should probably be five another way of connecting.